Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When we go through physical transformation, meaning we've lost a lot of weight, it usually means we have the condition of needing predominantly new clothes. We might have favorite shirts that appear too large to other people that we're still going to keep because they allow us to layer our clothes in winter. And we can keep the fashion that the Lord has put on our heart. What I find amazing is that clothes that fit me when I was 16 inches thicker around are now almost tight-fitting, and I barely had a chance to wash them. I use an old-fashioned form of cleaning that is customary used when you live, well, long ago. And I learned those things, well, from my Lord. But that's not the point. The point is, who took my shirts in the middle of the night and resized them? They don't shrink in the sun. They don't shrink from cold water washing and hand washing. But also, who ripped all my shirts out? Who cut the bottom in the strings so that they would rip and I'd get my fingers caught in them every time I should have put my hands in my pants? You see, a hateful person wants to control what someone wears. But since I moved out back here towards closer to the mall where I could find a little bit better opportunities for my work, and a little bit more safety of shelter because there's so few shelter spaces along the campus lines that are safe from the college students and their pranks, their illegal and immoral pranks on homeless people, and their arrogance of, sorry, I don't have any money today, which is bullshit because they're all walking around with credit cards. And secondly, I didn't ask you for anything. And no, I don't want your left leftover pizza thrown at my head or placed down in front of me like I'm a dog. But I don't want to digress. The point is the brand new clothing that I purchased or was gifted to me by a loving pastor, including brand new winter jackets to keep me warm, were spray painted brown. 